What if I were to tell you that we just got some pretty strong evidence that the Nintendo Switch 2 is a massively powerful machine, at least relative to what the Nintendo Switch 2 could be. And this is due to a semi-confirmation. It's technically a rumor or a leak, depending on how you want to approach the sourcing on this, but it is from someone who is one of the most reliable people for this stuff out there on a major AAA game coming day one to the next generation Switch. And this game is, yes, a next generation exclusive game. So this isn't like a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One version or whatever. It's obviously not coming to Nintendo Switch and is something that is probably, based on the franchise's history, going to be a visual feast. And yeah, it's going to be there on the next Switch day one. What are we talking about? Well, before we dive in, I want to remind you, we're on a road to 150,000 subscribers. So I want to, you know, just preface that I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel to help us get closer to our goal. Drop a like if you're enjoying the video and ring a link that ding a link to be notified of all future uploads and videos and podcasts, including our podcast tonight featuring Sumbro Nation, Jake Randall, Andres Restart, Eric Moore, and maybe another special guest. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be a good show tonight at 8 p.m. Central Time. Now, let's dive into this because what are we talking about? Well, there has been some reports coming out today about a massive AAA game coming to Nintendo Switch 2. Now, the reports are actually not about it coming to Nintendo Switch 2. The reports are actually about the game's story. Uh, this originally broke at Insider Gaming, but ended up spreading to a whole bunch of places who corroborated it. And that is that Far Cry 7 had a bunch of story details outlined. Now, the story itself is not entirely spoiled. This is more of an outline of events. And again, I don't want to dive too deep into this stuff because, yeah, story spoilers are story spoilers. And the point of this video isn't to talk about Far Cry 7's story spoilers. No, it's to talk about the fact that Far Cry 7 is coming to Nintendo Switch 2. In the tweet announcing the story details from Insider Gaming, Necro Felipe, the you know, one of the big guys who runs Universo Nintendo, and yes, was 100% spot on with the last Nintendo Direct, the Direct before that, and several little details along the way, including some of the demos from Gamescom. This guy is connected and he's been right on a lot of things, and I have a deep respect for what he does. He literally responded to that tweet and said, this game will launch day one on the next Switch system. His exact words. Now, people were obviously like, wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. This system's not even announced. How can he be talking about this? So Olivon says, I assume you mean it will have a version for Switch 2 at its launch rather than being a day one system launch title. If so, you should probably clarify or edit. And Necro clarifies, and he says, yeah, it will launch day long, day one along with the other console versions of the Switch next generation system. So what he is saying is that by the time this game comes out, which there are some rumors and reports out there that this is a 2024 Target title, that the Nintendo Switch 2 will be out before this game comes out. So he's not saying, oh, this is going to be their day one at launch. No, 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 no. The system's going to be out before this game comes out, and this game is going to be there day one with the other console versions. That is awesome. What's even cooler is someone responded to him and said, like the possible next-gen Monster Hunter or Monster Hunter 6, question mark, and Necro Felipe says, yup. So I don't know if Necro Felipe here is confirming that we're also going to be getting the next generation Monster Hunter on Switch. It sort of seems like that's the way he's leaning here, that he's kind of doing that. Uh, but dude, that is insane. Let's think about this for a brief moment. What does this mean? Far Cry 7, as far as we're aware, is a next generation, so a generation 9 and an Xbox Series X slash PlayStation 5 exclusive game. PC as well. And as far as we're aware, it will not be coming to old platforms. And Far Cry is one of the most visually, uh, I, I guess, oomph games out there. If you look at Far Cry 1 through 6, they literally are some of the most visually impressive games. 
Now, what's also really cool about this is Far Cry is actually a franchise from Ubisoft. And Ubisoft, as we know, was major supporters of the Nintendo Switch. They collaborated on several things, but they never really brought their latest and greatest games over. And if Far Cry 7 is coming over, this would obviously indicate other games, like Assassin's Creed, the new ones would actually come over to the system as well. And I think the biggest news in this, when we hear about Far Cry 7 coming to Nintendo Switch 2, assuming that it is, again, you can keep some skepticism for this. This is not a confirmation, but this is pretty close to one, given Necro Felipe's track record. I, uh, the biggest takeaway is that this really means all AAA games are going to be coming to the system. If a AAA game can run on Nintendo Switch 2, the third parties that skipped the Switch and regret that decision, or the, and we've heard people at EA say they regret that decision, we've heard people at you know, Activision say they regret that decision, it sounds like they're going to be supporting in massive ways the Nintendo Switch 2. Nintendo Switch 2 might be the first platform from Nintendo to get full AAA game support. You know what's really crazy about this and, and, and how this actually turned out to work in Nintendo's favor? The Nintendo Switch 2 is reportedly, supposedly, launching sometime next year. Maybe earlier in the year, we don't know, but either way, it's launching sometime next year. The current generation systems in PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X have only just now, this year, started to get exclusive games to their generation, where they're no longer making versions of games for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Now, that's still actually happening with some franchises, but a lot of IP are starting to now make games exclusively for this generation. And Nintendo Switch 2 is going to drop right in the heart of that happening. So what's kind of crazy is, well, obviously Nintendo rode Switch for a while. They were still able to get games like Mortal Kombat 1. I know, not an impressive port, but they still got the game. And other third-party games because the PlayStation 4 was still being supported. But now as we enter into when we're truly going to see what the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are capable of with these generation exclusive versions of games. What's really cool about this is that's when Nintendo's dropping their next system and this actually works into their favor because right as we get all of these, you know, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X like exclusive generation games, that's right when Nintendo's giving us the hardware that can run those very games. So that is... This actually worked out beautifully for Nintendo, if you really think about it. So I am really excited to see what's going on. I don't know how this game is running. I don't have any idea how it's going to stack up to the PlayStation 5 version. What I do know is that obviously Nintendo's platforms can run this game. And if it can run this game, I don't foresee any future third-party game that couldn't run, including a potential next-generation exclusive Monster Hunter title, which might have also just been confirmed, or at least semi-confirmed. Again, this isn't a confirmation. It is a affirmation. It is a highly credible leak slash report. So you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime. I'm stupidly excited right now because I'm really, really hyped about this. But guess what I'm also really, really hyped about? The Milwaukee Bucks just got Damian Lillard to team with Chris Middleton and Giannis Antetokounmpo, along with Brooke Lopez. Oh my gosh. Mm. Are we talking Bucks championship this year? I think we are. You just found out I'm a major Milwaukee Bucks fan. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you in the next video.